grade nine pupils from Orange Farm in the far south of the Greater Johannesburg Municipal Area attended a special lesson on the Holocaust to mark the International Day of Commemoration of the Victims of the Holocaust. Second World War history is part of the school curriculum in South Africa. 200 well-behaved 14 and 15-year-olds from high schools in Orange Farm arrived for the educational session. The United Nations Information Center in South Africa in partnership with the non-governmental organization Education Africa and the South African Holocaust and Genocide Foundation organized the event. It is also to educate future generation so that they learn about the underlying causes and that they can decide, that they can make choices and can be part of preventing future acts of genocide. And we are very, very pleased that here in South Africa, teaching that the genocide is actually part of the curriculum in high schools. Holocaust and Second World War history were part of the South African school curriculum during the days of apartheid. Since 1994, a lot more emphasis has been placed on human rights in the syllabus. The South African Holocaust and Genocide Foundation developed Holocaust education programs to supplement the school learning program. We examined moral choices that people made during the Holocaust. Were people upstanders? Were they bystanders? Were they perpetrators? And in doing so, we wanted them to examine their own behavior and see what choices they make in their life. So we wanted them to take away an extra dimension other than just a history lesson. The judiciary, the army, and the majority of the population remained silent as he destroyed German democracy. In this session, an introductory video on the Holocaust was shown. The director of the Johannesburg Holocaust and Genocide Center, Tali Nates, also shared her family's Holocaust story. The facilitators encouraged learners to make connections in their own lives. So me having this opportunity to educate not only in Johannesburg but in other provinces as well is an opportunity that I hope to take with me and spread the word to every kid in the hope of prevention of such a genocide. They sat here in a rather warm room for a long time paying attention to what was going on. So the first thing I learned from them is that this resonates with them. This is important to them. In addition to that, we learned that they, they understood what they were being told and were able to attach it to their lives. In recent years, parts of Orange Farm have experienced some xenophobic tension and it seems it's not only the adults who think the teenagers learned something. I just want to say thanks for coming and teaching us about history. I learned we shouldn't discriminate because discrimination is not a good thing. People can fight because of discrimination. Thank you all. Maybe, maybe all of us here learned something and will deal with this challenge. This educational session was only an introduction to what students will learn later this year in the classroom. But it does seem that tomorrow's leaders did take note of history's lessons. I'm Marisa de Klerk for JN1 in Orange Farm, south of Johannesburg.